So the mood out there, it's very bad. It's very bad. I can't imagine that I'm in Zambia where we can start uh, lining up for, uh, for fuel. Because this price is definitely, it won't uh, end tomorrow. It will just start uh, at midnight tonight. And you will live uh, with this situation. So I can just advise uh, my brothers and sisters there that yes, we are in this situation together. It's a very bad situation and we just have to embrace it. But our, uh, uh, our job is to make sure that uh, we work together and come 2026, we don't want a government which doesn't care for its people. Subsidies, those money, it's not uh, Boma Nusambo's money, it's not uh, Akainde Ichirima's money, it's the people of Zambia's money. And uh, whatever thing it will take for the government to subsidize, the, the, if it's fuel, if it's education, if it's uh, 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 electricity, we just have to do it for our people. We have to sacrifice for your people. That's why we took time, us as uh, government of His Excellency Edgar Chagalung, to sign up with uh, the IMF because uh, the IMF, what they wanted from us, we couldn't do it because we put the people of Zambia first. Because we are politicians, we are just servants for the people. Our bosses are the people of Zambia. If the people, the bosses start complaining, definitely they will fire you. And I can assure you that President Takainde Ichirima and his team, let them just start packing. Okay? Let them just start packing. Because the bosses out there, they are annoyed. Not those bosses who are 100% crapping for them on the social media. The real bosses. The real bosses in Chiturika village, the real bosses in Wengu, in the Wengo village, the real bosses in Chieftainess Lesser's village, the real bosses in Chieftainess uh, Malembeka's village. Those are the real bosses. Those who feel the 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 the, the, the pain of this fuel, they will feel the pain of buying fertilizer at a thousand kwacha. They will feel the pain of paying electricity at a higher rate. Not those uh, 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 yes one, those who are crapping for everything. No, we voted for uh, for for HH for him to govern. It, it, it's not those people who voted. They're not. They're, they're not the only Zambians we have. Two point two point eight. In Zambia, we are more than eighteen million people. And uh, today, if we can just uh, do our census nicely. We can find out that we are more than 20 million people. So 2.8 is nothing. It's nothing comparing to uh, the people out million there. Million on a so it's it's sample, nothing. It is something because uh, it is the number that uh, made sure that uh, the Pedigree Front doesn't. Uh, it is return nothing. Power, it is nothing comparing you know? to the. And remember uh, again that uh, out of the 20 million, million people. Yes. Of course, we're just assuming. Yes. Let's talk about uh, the over 18 million 18 Zambians. Million Zambians. Exactly. Yes. We are only represented by about uh, seven million somewhere. There mm. were the eligible, you no know, voters at that mm. moment. But mm. out of the seven million plus, mm. only. But those know, are not uh, yeah. only Zambians. Yes, I do okay. agree with you. In Zambia, we have people who are not even interested yeah. in politics. They are not interested. They don't even want to be associated with uh, any political, uh, poli uh, political uh, party. There are other regions in Zambia, those who don't vote, but they are Zambians, but they don't vote, but they are Zambians. And there are some Zambians who are frustrated because they have been voting and no change in, the real change in their lives, and they are also Zambians. So they and they get frustrated because of, uh, you know, these are sweet messages you give they are them frustrated. during campaigns. Exactly. You know. Exactly. Just like they are frustrated. During, you, you, they are so frustrated yeah. because uh, uh, some politicians, mm. like President Daka in the gave them false promises. Mm. So, if they fail to get these promises in reality, mm. they get frustrated that I can't even vote. Why voting? Why voting when... Uh, uh, President Taka in the in opposition, he told me that he's going to reduce fuel, but today is increasing fuel. Why are you going to vote? If President Taka in the told me that uh, we are going to uh, to work on uh, electricity tariff to bring it down, why should I go and vote at zero three hours? 
when Akainde Ichirima told me that he's going to reduce uh, the bag of fertilizer, why should I go and vote? When President Akainde Ichirima told me that we're going to have uh, uh, um, free education for all Zambians, why should I go and vote? So this uh, type of politicians are the politicians who are contaminating the political uh, fraternity, which is very bad. Okay? We had presidents before. So it will be now in Zambia, anyone can come up with lies all over and say, eh, I'm ready to go to State House. And for us as Zambians, we'll be just clapping. No, ni wamene uyu, ni wamene uyu, ni wamene. Let us change the, the way we do politics in this country. Let us see. Before we we have to, the, we have to, we have to the, be responsible, the, the not irresponsible. Side, I want us, uh, first of all, to explain further. What does this fuel increment and the petrol, what does it mean to a common out there? I think these are matters that borders on, on lives. Uh, what does it mean uh, to uh, a, my mother, maybe in Karingaling? My friend, in uh, Kanchwi, my friend and, uh, and, and viewers out there. Immediately the fuel price is uh, increased. Yeah. Definitely transports will go up. Okay. Uh, the food. Uh, okay, let me just say goods and services. Everything it, go, it will go up. Right. Even when you go to schools, those who are in private uh, uh, schools, they will increase the, the, the school fees. Immediately. They will do increase the, 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 the school fees. So the impact, the people will feel the impact. It's the people in Kalingalinga. It's the people in Kabushi constituency. The people in Chitrika village. The people in Wengwa. The people in uh, Rufuanyama, Mpongwe, and Masaiti. They will feel this pain. And I can assure the, the rest of the people out there that uh, uh, let us put our hands together. Because we are in, in this in a situation, not for one day, not for two days, not for three days. We are talking about uh, three years, one to three years. In some extent, we can even go uh, for, for four years. And it's not automatic that the IMF will uh, 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 bail out. Maybe it will, it will work 100% like uh, without uh, uh, ECAPS. In some, in some instances, they, they, this uh, whole thing can fail, okay? So the problem is huge. The problem is huge. We've got uh, a president who, who is very transparent in terms of his <laughs> governance. Um, it's rare to have a leader who's going to come out and tells you and the people of Zambia to begin to, you know, pick up the, a paper and a pen and begin to mark where he's, 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 he's scoring and where he's going wrong for further consideration. What summary would you give on Bali's 100 days first of plus all, in office? I thank you very much uh, to have uh, a very transparent president, President uh, Akainde Ichirema One. Mm. Uh, he told us it's going to uh, reduce uh, the fuel uh, pump price mm. and he, he backtracked and he's there uh, in State House. And uh, thank you, President, for uh, uh, being uh, transparent to the people of Zambia. Mm. He told us uh, it's going to reduce uh, uh, the, the tariffs of electricity adjusted downwards. Here we are. Things are going up. And thank you, President Haka Inde Ichirema, for being transparent to the people of Zambia. Today, the people, they are panicking outside. Okay? All the filling stations are packed. All the filling stations are packed. That is the sign of bad leadership. Those are the signs of bad leadership. If we can't call that bad leadership, then we don't know what we're doing. Those are the signs of bad leadership. Tomorrow, the, 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 the food prices will go up. The transports will go up. Those are the signs of bad leadership. Those are the signs of bad leadership. So if you're telling me that uh, President Takahinda Ichirima is, is a transparent president, how? How? How do you the make up the comments, for example, on social media? Uh, some people are saying we don't care even if he was going to increase a fuel even by 100%. We don't care because our aim was only to get rid of the periodic front out of government. You have to take that person to China and let them go and uh, examine the mind of that person. Because uh, the patriotic front is just a, a, a club. Okay? Mm. Just a club. 
okay and you can't uh, uh, issue that care statement you, do you know the, co the, the 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 complications on the IMF in our country mm. do you know the complications do you know how many people are going to suffer because of this uh, uh, the, this IMF mm. this whole matter is not about uh, President Takahinde Ichirem and the, the PF this matter is about the country this matter is about the country and I've seen some comments as well some comments that's because they voted for for UPND wait a minute wait a minute if you voted for UPND so what so what so you want the people to die in the villages you want the people to die in the compounds just because you voted for, for 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 UPND give us a break give us a break okay this is not a child prayer this is a very serious business which we do politics is a serious business we don't need jokers in political uh, fraternity. Okay? You wake up in the morning, you go to the social media, you insult people, you say things which you don't even, uh, uh, you don't, you doesn't even know where it is coming from. We don't even know if they buy meal meal, those people. We don't even know if they pay bills, those people. If really they pay bills, they can feel for the people of Zambia. They can feel for the people of Zambia. I saw no. The, the president has increased the twelve percent to, uh, to 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 the civil servants. What is twelve percent? If you are getting five five thousand kwacha, that twelve percent maybe six hundred, five hundred to six hundred kwacha. Is that what he told us? He told us that is going to to give one thousand five hundred across the board. So when we support, it's not just a matter of supporting. You put uh, a lot of things into consideration. So, uh, comrade and those people. Uh, and viewers and those people who are supporting <coughs> President uh, Akainde Ichirema. We are not saying President Akainde Ichirema is a bad person. As a human being, he's a very good person. As a human being, he's a good person. But as a president, he has felt he wasn't ready to govern this country. <laughs> <laughs>